I already get so many comments of people being like, why are you so obsessed with her? They're like, just ignore her. How can I? She makes more trans content than I do. <laughs> I've got to catch up. <laughs> That's so true. T, lizard. Hey, what's up, folks? It is Ty, and I am joined by no offense. Hello. <laughs> Today, we decided to make a tier list together. Ranking Ariel Scarcella's transphobic YouTube videos. Here it is. <laughs> Dude. Oh, girl dick. Girl dick. I know. Stop pushing <laughs> girl dick. Yeah, let's start with that. Dear trans women, stop pushing girl dick on, I think the rest of the title is lesbians. Can I just ask, have you ever seen a trans woman pushing girl dick on anyone? No, usually <laughs> they're just trying to live their lives. And by default, trans people are sexualized people. Uh, yeah. So usually we don't try to bring that upon ourselves, especially trans women who a lot no. of the conversation that's like accusing them of being predators centers around them. Yeah. And usually they, they are doing everything they can to distance themselves from those types of situations. So uh, yeah, I'm I don't, just... I'm not sure really what Ariel, <laughs> what Ariel's been experiencing here. <laughs> I just can't with the thumbnail. Why has she just got out one of her dildos and was just like, <laughs> Girl dick. I reckon that's an A. I don't think it's quite S. That's definitely it's quite... up there. Yeah. I, I actually totally that. agree with that. Okay. Quick disclaimer, there are a lot of videos that we decided not to include because of how they impacted individual trans people that were involved with them. So yeah, if you're looking at this list wondering where a specific video is, it's probably just something that we didn't feel comfortable talking about. But we do know that this isn't all of her transphobic content, this isn't even the worst of her transphobic content, but any video that was left out was done so purposely. Why trans activists hate me? I, I am genuinely curious as to what she thinks it is that she's done that makes people hate her she's rational and trans activists aren't and that's why they hate her I it's think. the ben shapiro shit then is it yeah it's her, her her facts don't care about our feelings classic uh also i just have to bring attention to nice 420 that's yeah that's, that's fucking dope dude <laughs> i, I say that like this C. isn't the worst like i'm gonna Ooh. put this down here i think i think i would go with d that would make sense i was thinking c d but if 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 it's not really saying much in the video, then yeah. I don't remember the video enough to give it to make it higher. So also we should clarify that S is like top transphobic moment. F is not the worst. Yeah. That's how we're ranking these. Oh, have you seen this? I've been lying to you about my gender identity. Where she comes out as trans. She comes out as trans. Yeah. She says, like, I'm, I got to tell you guys, I'm trans. And then she pulls up the definition and she's like, according to the definition, I don't abide by gender stereotypes. And therefore, by today's standards, I should be trans. And then she calls her token trans people to like debunk her identity for her. Oh, I just went, how, do you know how old this video is? It's pretty old. Was this during her phase where she thought she was like being woke with this kind of stuff? She was like, oh, you don't have to follow gender norms. That doesn't make you trans. Yes. Yeah. I would say that that's kind of what she's trying to. She's being like, I don't have to be trans and neither do you. You can just be a tomboy or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just stop. I was thinking B, C, A. Yeah. You thinking A? I don't think it's A. I'm, no, I'm just, think... just seeing how it looks on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I think B. Well, B, C, maybe C. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. not the most hateful content that she's no, put up. Definitely. <laughs> it's not. like, yeah, we, we have to base this on, we have to base this on stuff that she's done. Exactly. Like the mark is herself. Okay, that makes sense. No, that, that C at most, yeah. <laughs> yeah, her video with Jamie, LGB drops the T, lesbian <laughs> response to trans ideology. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as I hear the phrase trans ideology, I'm like immediately turned off. I think it's got to be at least an A tier. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it's quite up there, but like A, a is appropriate. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's up there. But I think anything where she's like debunking a trans person telling her that she's being transphobic. Yeah. On that S. note. S. <laughs> S. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This is where she lets everyone know that you are sexist because you're trying to silence women by calling Ariel out for being transphobic. When when that video came out, I was so strong. I literally, I was in the cinema watching a movie and then I come out of the cinema. It was the greatest time. I had such a good movie. And then I checked my phone and she's posted this video and holy shit. Oh, it's so bad. Have you watched it? 
I skimmed. Yeah, I didn't get very far. She like cut like so her video is how long? 16 minutes. My video was 23 minutes. She cut out so much of the video and then she said that yeah, I was trans I was sexist for telling her to stop being transphobic. <laughs> I if if you look at the like to dislike ratio, she's got less than 50% likes. Like I feel like that was nice. a bomb on her channel. When she released that, people were like, dude, like it's fucking bad. Well, she couldn't even make an actual point. No, she couldn't. God, yeah, I can't imagine being like in a good mood and then you come out of somewhere where you like haven't had your phone on you in a, a couple hours and then just hit with that. <laughs> it was horrible. It was so bad, but it's fine now. I can laugh at it now. I don't even this fucking video. <laughs> can I swear in your videos or are you going to ble- Can you bleep it out or something? Oh, this is a uh, kid's channel. Okay, so this flipping oh, video. This video sucks ass so bad. This damn ass so video. bad. It, it's just like she's got this weird obsession with detransitioners like even in her Elliot Page video which I'm sure we're going to be talking about later like she loves to bring up like fake fake statistics about how many trans people will actually detransition but Dude, it's- I was watching this uh, she was posting screenshots of like these websites with like statistics and stuff that are misgendering trans people thousands of girls want money for top surgery and then there's literally I checked the description doesn't cite where any of these screenshots are from they're like weirdly cropped it's no. just the numbers there's not even a title on the graph she, she <laughs> like, doesn't she doesn't cite stuff i made a video about her elliot page video and i looked on the internet for like specific quotes and like statistics that she was like like saying but they didn't exist like she literally she just comes up with these like numbers and then decides that that sounds about right and then just puts it in a video i was like <laughs> Source anything. I remember her saying at one point something like 90% of trans people are FTM or something like that. Yeah. Or what was yeah. It? Something ridiculous. She said that in her Elliot Page video. And I was like, even as an exaggeration, that's not even close. I think maybe it was like 70, to, it was like 70 to 90 or something, but it just yeah, wasn't so accurate. Probably not 90, but it was way up there and completely false, not yeah. cited. Yeah, she definitely has an obsession with detransition and people deciding not to transition. She does, which is like, like obviously like detransitioners like should be listened to. Like it's it's a thing that like a lot of people go through. Absolutely. But in comparison to like the majority of like the population of trans people they're like less than one percent and i feel like people like her love to blow up that like out of proportion because it makes other people look bad i don't think a lot of the people that say this kind of stuff actually care about detransitioners oh definitely not it's weird though have you seen the kira bell case is she the one that was on t for like four years and then decided to sue the nhs for letting her do that yeah, she is that one, which sucks. But she's she's teamed up with like some like notori- notorious like British turfs, and I feel like like turfs will love to snatch up like any detransition story and just like blow it out of proportion. It really sucks. Yeah, but yeah, like look at this victim of the system. Like I don't yeah. know what it's like in the UK, but for me here in the US, to be on testosterone takes constant effort. Like yeah. I have to have an appointment every three months to re-up my prescription. I have to have a uh, refill my prescription every month. I have to give myself a shot every week. You know, <laughs> it's no one's got a gun to my head being like, dude, no. like if I had any doubt in my mind that I wanted to be on testosterone, I just wouldn't do it because it's such a fucking yeah. pain in the ass. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Fucking in England, it's the wait list, uh, the shortest wait list would be like two and a half years for a first appointment. Some of the wait lists are like five years, like four years, and some people My just get God. lost in the system. Yeah, it's it's really bad. That's why, especially when people have a problem with, a lot of people will say that they're like pushing trans kids into transitioning in the UK, which is just a complete lie because it takes years to even like have an appointment. And it also doesn't happen. People are like no. putting two-year-olds on hormones definitely not no no <laughs> it's not how it works not. shit where do we think this is maybe a a b i feel like this is a solid right in the middle for ariel i think b or a i'm i'm kind of gearing more towards a just because i just yeah i don't know a or b i mean i think I'm happy with you. it's not the most transphobic thing in terms of like directly targeting trans people it feels like it's in line with her turf feelings her yeah. thoughts but it's not like ex- 
expressly hateful, even though it is yeah. definitely harmful. It's hard because I have to try to reframe this all in terms of Ariel. Yeah. Because like all of these would be S tier transphobia on anyone else's channel. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely true. <laughs> Let's do it between A and B, and then later we can like narrow it down. We'll really I'm, I'm good with that. Trans athletes call women competitors losers. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love the title of this. It's so funny. It's so funny. This is some classic turf shit. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm feeling... I'm feeling BC. I feel like this is kind of just clickbaity. I still just find it so funny. This will be S tier in terms of humor, just for the title itself. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> we'll put it there and then come back to it. Sure. Oh, okay. get rid of this one. <laughs> S. This is pretty pretty awful. Yeah. S. Unquestionably S. Therapy helped my gender dysphoria, a gay man's story. L- let's reframe. Imagine <laughs> someone being like a, a, a channel that is known for posting some pretty questionable homophobic content, yeah. but is still convinced that they're like really gay friendly. A straight person posting a video that says therapy helped my homosexual tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would be fucking unacceptable. Yeah. There's a word for that. And it's not just therapy. There's a word that comes before that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking conversion therapy yeah christ god i'm just looking at some of these fucking titles are so bad i don't understand because when i made the vi- my video about her i was like yeah she just makes so many videos about trans people and so many of them are clickbait she was like i don't do that and i was like am i crazy but like <laughs> looking at this shit like holy fuck I should have not felt like bad about that in the slightest because this is bad. Yeah, there's there's no reason to to feel sorry for that because it's true. And like, I didn't even, this isn't all of them. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> all right, JK Rowling's feminism versus trans activism. The thumbnail says turf. It's such a turf thing to frame like any form of transphobia as like feminism as in like if it's harming trans people no it's not because it's helping women which jk rowling absolutely is not doing here's the thing she's got two of these these jk rowling videos yeah yeah i mean like i feel like so much of what she says is such like a blatant turf dog whistle that calling her a turf is difficult because not everybody's gonna understand like the specific language that turfs use like tra trans right activists yeah it's it's a good thing to be a trans rights activist but in turf circles that's just like tra tra get rid of them but feminism jk what jk rowling did was not feminism like she had her own experiences with men and said that that reflects on trans women which is just transphobia i also um wanted to say you said earlier that oh shit i lost it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm out of my ADHD meds, so my brain is at like 3% functionality right now. No. But, um, oh yeah, you were talking about TERFs using transphobia and uh, using feminism to excuse transphobia. Ariel literally tweeted something recently that was like, trans rights and women's rights will always be against each other because you can't have a both or something like that. Like they're Yeah, always- it's like this whole idea that like trans rights activists and feminists can't coexist. That's the thing with TERFs is- That's exclude trans women from yeah. women. Literally, like the thing with TERFs is they, they assume that any form of feminism is purely for those like assigned female at birth. It's so irritating. But the funniest thing about that as well is that, like, they're so at odds with, like, trans men because on the one hand, they're just like, oh, shit, like, you were born female, so, like, we'll protect you under those rights, but also fuck you for, like, giving up your female card, like, your woman card, and, like, turning to the other side. So we have the two different um, J.K. Rowling videos by her. I think that this one, just for the thumbnail, I would like to put in A. Yeah. That's fair. And then I think because of the fact that she's made two, like one of them should be a lower tier. That's fair. It's just repost. It's I think not. I think this was gonna be E. There's uh pretty much no logic to where I this is just like what feels right. I mean, like none of these matter any like it's it's fine. Like it's <laughs> <laughs> good. I'm a lesbian but not female. Lesbian reacts to non-binary. I don't know how she is so confused about non-binary people. She either doesn't actually understand non-binary people or she's like willfully ignorant. I'm a lesbian but not female. Non-binary. Well, like yeah, it's it's not hard to I understand. Think she's- 
convinced that there needs to be one definition that describes all non-binary people completely rather yeah. than willing to accept the fact that non-binary is an umbrella term and I sure knows that but still is like look at how confusing non-binary is is non-binary even a thing <laughs> let me know in the you, comments yeah below. let me know in the comments below i think it's pretty like like maybe like e an e i just think I in that. terms of like the harm it does well, actually that's not true I, I i have no logic when it comes to any of these rankings i see i feel like with the harm because non-binary people do tend to get a lot more hate than binary trans people ariel like weaponizing her channel against them is pretty harmful that's fair so maybe a d tier just because like the logic in it isn't really sound like if you know which i'm sure a lot of her viewers don't know but like the definitions of the things that she's talking about yeah her arguments don't really hold up if so. you have a single if you have like a single critical thought you'd watch this video and be like oh huh, that right was stupid <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> exactly so i'm gonna go with d that's fair we could bring out our next non-binary video this is uh, the most recent one she just did non-binary <laughs> is confusing at best and sexist at worst I don't know how she is confused still. I love in the video, she starts it off by saying like, I don't think I've ever given my opinion on non-binary people. I don't think I've ever really said how I feel about them. <laughs> like, you've talked about it quite a bit, Ariel. But of like logical inconsistencies of her entire like career is just, I just can't put up with it. This is, this one sucks. This is up there. This one was pretty horrible. I, I think this is like S tier. I agree. Yeah. But then again, there's more. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking now about two genders, which we have here. I haven't seen this one, but is it her just saying there's two? You genders? never saw two genders. Oh my god! I it's never a saw it. Is it? Oh my god! I'll put it on my watch list. You're gonna have to watch it. It's <laughs> on Jacqueline Glenn's channel, and she's like, "If you want to be a tomboy, just be a tomboy. Like you don't have to call yourself something else. You can just be, you know, if you want to be a man in a dress, just be a man and wear a dress. You don't have to make up a third gender and come up with all these new genders. It's 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 awful. the funniest thing about that kind of about that kind of argument. It's always made by like cis people who have like no understanding, who don't understand what gender no. identity is." versus expression no, like, they have no clue and they have some like balls to just come out and just say shit like that because like if i was ignorant about a topic like that i wouldn't be making a fucking video about it who what did they think they were going to achieve with this are they going yeah. to convince all nine but non-binary people to revert back into their <laughs> assigned i don't know gender they want to finally get that detransition rate up to one percent <laughs> Like that's what they're aiming for. <laughs> but I think that because of that one, I think the new non-binary video I would list as an A tier. Okay. Maybe we'll put this one between S and A, but I think two genders is S for sure. Cause this is like this was the one that really was like, okay, Ariel is now beginning to take off the mask. Like we've all yeah. privately known that she was transphobic. Here she is like publicly saying that. I just feel like if this has been happening for so long, like you can have time. But if people are explaining to you over and over and over and over again, like what what you're doing is, then I feel like it doesn't matter how long you have. If you're choosing to willfully be that ignorant, then you shouldn't be given that time. Like you've been told, hey, this is fucked up and you continue doing it. Like, I don't know. That's annoying as hell. Yeah. And then I think she just, you know, she left the left, <laughs> which was just her being like, I want to <laughs> be in a group of people who also hate trans people. <laughs> and call it politics. All right. Well, here we go. Anyone can be a woman. How about no? Just blatantly, just not even trying to disguise it in any way whatsoever anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I'm sorry. It's oh okay. my God. This is like a primary school like comeback. Anyone can how be a woman. No? How about no? Oh my God. <laughs> if you identify as a woman, you identify as a woman for a reason. Like you wouldn't be doing that if you weren't a woman. I feel like a lot of people take that as, oh, anyone can be a woman if they identify as a woman, which just like is not it. And then they use it in arguments like, well, I could just say that I'm a woman and go into the women's bathroom. Yeah. It's like, why are you the one having these thoughts? Yeah. Like, why is your first thought? Oh, I'm going to say I'm a woman to go into the woman's bathroom. Like yeah, I'm going to be a sexual predator because I yeah, can. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, like, no one does that. Like, no one is like, oh, shit, I'd, like, I'd love to be in the woman's bathroom. I just want to watch girls pee. You know what? 
instead of just like walking in because I could if I really wanted to, I'm gonna change my name, gonna change my pronouns, gonna start estrogen just so I can spy on people. Like it's crazy. Yeah, and it it demonstrates a total lack of understanding for how the process goes. Yeah. And who the fuck does it hurt to just believe someone when they say, "Hey, I'm questioning my gender. I think I might be this." Why does literally that nobody hurt you if that happens? Like, who gives a fuck? I reckon like C B. Well, I mean, in terms of transphobia, like up it's there, pretty 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 transphobic i feel like she could try harder though so yeah it's kind of like that's the thing is that it's so low effort i i, I think maybe between <laughs> c and b is where i'm yeah i'll with take that, that. <laughs> i know there's gonna be a bunch of people in the comments like i hate you guys i hate you <laughs> yeah. guys for rating these all wrong yeah they're gonna be like obviously <laughs> this is an a tier okay i had to edit the title in yeah paint. <laughs> this is i I'm- love how you've done that <laughs> that's great that's hey, so good trevi moran transgender oh shit i didn't edit <laughs> the pronoun <laughs> fans push her to be trans now this is before she came out but she had made a video where she was questioning her gender she thought that she was trans started to transition and then decided not to. So ended up not doing that and then made a video just being like, I just want to love myself, like kind of crying. Of course, Ariel jumps on that and says, look, she's not actually trans. You don't have to be either. Like, it's okay to question your gender identity and then come to the conclusion that you're actually cis. That's actually where you should land with these <laughs> with, with these uh, sorts of questions. I remember when this came out, this is such like an emotional, like personal video and I just think, like, it's just such a shitty thing to do. For her like, to be, like, cheering this... it on, being like, yeah. yes, my yeah. team wins. Yeah, literally, literally, like, one more. Oh, my God, that's so true. She's like, look, another example of the trans crazies. But yeah. here's another thing that I think adds to this video itself is that when Trevi Moran came out as trans, Ariel didn't make another video talking about that. <laughs> you know, if we were truly here to discuss Trevi Moran's gender identity and questioning, then we would have followed up on it, would we not, Ariel? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she loves the views from trans people. I'm surprised she didn't. But what are you feeling for tears? <sighs> I think the fact that there wasn't a follow-up, like that Trevi Moran is trans and that Ariel didn't follow up with anything makes me want to put it pretty high. Yeah, me too. I'm thinking A or B. A or B. I like that. This is such a mess. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, on that same vein. Oh, fuck off. This video sucks. This was horrible. Elliot Page comes out as trans. Now Elliot Page, obviously dead named first first word of the <laughs> the title i i'm straight away this is s tier like the amount of misinformation in that video the fact that she dead names him the fact that like she uses this video to be like we're losing our lesbians like we're using... losing our lesbians truly <laughs> somehow she's managed to take a trans person's coming out and twisted it into like oh no this is about me and my other lesbians and also i just I'm so fucking baffled every time I've seen that video. Like, I had to rewatch it a bunch for my video, but every single thing that she says, I'm like, you could you could have just left it in drafts. Like, you could have just not posted <laughs> anything. Yeah, she truly has the ability to take a trans person just existing <laughs> yeah. and make it entirely about herself and usually <laughs> in a negative way. Literally. Like, screenshotting that... Um, that dating profile of a trans woman with a bat and being like, For this trans person, does anyone want to date them? They think they're so cool here to try to kill Terps with their bat. They literally never said that. She just posts a picture of her holding a bat and Ariel's like, this is an attack of violence directly on me. Because... <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> okay. The bat literally said LGBT on it. Yeah. Like, it wasn't about her, but the... Oh, I was going to say about Elliot. Oh, Elliot, uh, yeah. Fuck, what was oh yeah in her um so obviously when elliot came out she like did a tweet being like congrats elliot and then in the same tweet she was like when are we going to start talking about how many lesbians we're losing like straight away she didn't, lesbians. Even, she didn't even try and hide it my god well yeah the responses the the tweets from other people responding to that being like that was my future wife these are my future girlfriends that that are being taken away from me 
<laughs> our lost sisters. God. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> so this, um, <laughs> I didn't screenshot the other one. Lesbian shows trans woman her ugly vagina. Now we got permission to talk about this one, right? Yeah, Melody said that it was chill. There was there was another video where Melody showed her vagina to Ariel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is both equally uncomfortable. I will. I haven't watched this, and I zero percent chance that I ever will. I would <laughs> cringe into myself and be gone forever if I if I tried to watch this. But the yeah. self own in the title. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny. It's like it's it's the fact that like like nobody needed to know, nobody would have known, nobody would have even asked or assumed. But she's straight up just like ugly. I guess it's, I guess it's in quotes. So she's like, oh, I've been told it's ugly, or like I think it's ugly. I just someone <laughs> thinks Ariel's Garcella's vagina is ugly, and she wants to talk about it on the internet. <laughs> I mean, body positivity, sex positivity, sure, but like this is just funny. It's funny. Why does it need? Why do you need to show it to a trans woman to like redeem yourself? Yeah, literally. I just the thumbnail. So I, I have strange. to say, her thumbnails are great. Like props to Ariel. They're <laughs> fucking incredible. Yeah, F. <laughs> the only F is the one that isn't about trans people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor Melody. Melody since made like a video about Ariel, which is worth watching. It is worth watching. It's like why I'm no longer friends with Ariel. So there's that. Um, but yeah, Good she, you, yeah, the way she's treated a lot of her trans friends is very screwed up. She it's defo sad. uses them as tokens. It's very sad. Yeah. I mean, we definitely excluded like a lot of the similar videos to this, but where she's like talking about trans people's bodies in ways that like they've later come forward and been like hey that was pretty uncomfortable for me yeah the trilogy (laughs) (laughs) the most epic saga it's Star Wars. It's still better than Twilight. It's still better than Twilight. <laughs> I can't believe the thumbnail is like, I so want to apologize for being transphobic. Why I'm transphobic, I won't apologize for being transphobic. I still won't apologize for transphobic. I hope she makes a part three and has like someone else come in like with their finger, for, like a third. The titles themselves. Are bad <laughs> yeah the thumbnails themselves should not exist <laughs> and the videos are basically like trans people are telling me i'm transphobic and i've decided that i'm not yeah i think this one is pretty good it was I'm... an original <laughs> it's an original <laughs> <laughs> i think <sighs> maybe this one a c because it's pretty close to a, or like her coming out as trans but her yeah. coming out as transphobic it's kind of like <laughs> the same idea and in both of them she misses the point entirely is that what happened to her she was like i was trans and now i'm not <laughs> right <laughs> Fuck that right well you know she says that she's like i would have been trans like a lot of times she says that all the time she's like <sighs> if i would have been a teenager like during all this i would have been trans and it's like ariel <sighs> fucking go to therapy turn off the yeah. camera and go to therapy <laughs> <laughs> Literally, if you you clearly got a lot of feelings, like talk about them with a professional. Um, I won't apologize for being transgender. Or fuck, <laughs> <laughs> I won't apologize for being transphobic. It's funny as fuck. I think this is B tier. I think this is solid B tier content. Do you remember the differences between the videos? Nope. Then why is it B? <laughs> Well, well, this one is why I'm transphobic, and this one is her deciding she's not going to apologize for it. So this is people think I'm transphobic, and here's why I'm not. And then here's fuck you guys for saying that I'm transphobic. I know that I'm not, and I'm going to continue being transphobic. That's fair. So I I think that's a step up. But where do we go with the third video? Like, where does that leave us? The third one, I think, goes actually lower because it's just a remake. So I think maybe back here with E because it's like the same thing with the JK Rowling. That's true. That works. There's some consistent logic there, at least. Now we have to clean this shit up. (laughs) Oh, fucking hell. Okay, trans athletes call women competitors losers. Honestly, I am almost wanting to bring this up to an A. I was going to say, I think that needs to be upped. Yeah. Thousands of teens detransition. I think that's up as well. Yeah. I think like the misinformation is an issue that like, cause I've seen specifically like LGBs 
using like these like fake statistics being like did you know that like this many people detransition so be careful like and i've seen people not... use that kind of stuff exactly non-binary is confusing at best i think that's s tier i think that's s tier i think the trevi moran video it's, that's a tough one i think it's a because she's like weaponizing someone's breakdown to be like hey stop being trans yep that's a very good way to say that i don't think it was actually i'm <laughs> 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 uh maybe not stop being trans but hey maybe uh maybe you're not trans decide know. that you're not trans after all yeah do it i think anyone can be a woman how about no is a c for me <laughs> i'd move that to b you think that's b we'll i go think with b. i just think the whole premise behind it is just like i i think it's more transphobic than hmm, i don't know i think b and c are kind of like interchangeable i feel like they're their own level I think why I'm transphobic <laughs> is going to stay with C. Yeah. This one's a B. Now, J.K. Rowling. What title was that? J.K. Rowling deemed transphobic turf by queer, probably activist, dot, dot, mm. dot, by queer, dot, dot, dot. This, to me, I think in the context of knowing how much of a fucking turf J.K. Rowling is, yeah, kind of ups it for me, but it's also like not directly aimed like these, I feel like are pretty personal. This one is just ridiculous. <laughs> this, I think we could bring down to a B. I'm happy with that. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wait, this actually looks really nice. Doesn't it? Her transphobia ranked is aesthetically pleasing. It truly is. Wow. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Viewers, thank you so much for going on this journey with us. <laughs> Noah, thank you for coming onto my channel and helping me. Um, do the Lord's work here. That's right. <clears throat> we broke some major stories this evening, yeah. and I think we helped a lot of people, and that's really what's important. <laughs> it was so full of shit. <laughs> Okie dokie. Beautiful.